Hey everybody, thanks for joining us again for another edition of Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. Uh, we are filming from our Salado, Texas location. I'm Nathan. I'm Colton. And we are back again to talk a little bit more about audio, of yep, course. Of course. Today we are talking about some of the differences between home and commercial audio. Uh, it comes up a lot. Uh, people wanting to use home audio products in commercial environments. Right. So we want to talk a little bit about uh, why that's not always a great idea and uh, what commercial audio can do for you. All right, Nathan, so home versus commercial, probably, you know, one of the, the most talked about topics I have with a lot of customers is, uh, you know, I have this system laying in my house. Uh, I was thinking about implementing it into uh, my new restaurant or retail store or, you know, anything like that. And we always, you know, say, hey, stop right there. You know, this is, this is why you shouldn't do that. And uh, we just want to relay that message on to you. Um, so give me give me a little bit of a scoop of why you shouldn't be putting you know like say home home gear into commercial spaces um, and what's the the major uh, risks and then downfalls of of doing so. Gotcha. So there's a lot of different reasons uh, and a lot of things that come into play while we're talking about this topic. Yeah. Uh, so I might not hit on all of them here, but I want to make sure and give you guys some of the highlights. Yeah. Uh, one of the major things to think about when you're looking at uh, using a home system in a commercial environment uh, is the amount of use um, of the product. So generally home audio products are kind of designed for you get home from work. Yep. Uh, turn on the game. Yeah, turn on the big game, sit down, watch the game, watch the movie, um, you know, do that kind of thing, turn it off, and then it's done. Two or three hours. Uh, yeah, a few hours, it gets powered hours, off, yeah. that kind of thing. A uh, commercial environment, if you guys have restaurants or hotels or, uh, you know, retail stores, you start to think about the number of hours you're open. You yeah. know, it could be 10, 12, 14 hour days. You know, if you think about some of these 24 hour restaurants, they're open all the time. All the time. All the time. Yeah. So that means the audio system's on all the time. Yeah. So as a result, one thing you got to keep in mind here is that commercial audio products are built to be a little tougher. Yep. Uh, a little bit more robust power supplies. Um, Electronic devices actually have voltages and, and wattage running through them all the time. So, Absolutely. Uh, there's a lot, little bit more care and a little bit more um, professional grade pro uh, hardware built into commercial audio systems. For sure. So uh, you want to kind of keep that in mind. As a result, along those lines, uh, one big thing we got to mention is longevity. Yeah. Uh, you're going to have longer warranties in a lot of your commercial product. I mean, sometimes you've got one year, five year, three year, 10 year type warranties in some of the electronics and commercial audio systems. Absolutely. We, we field mm -hmm. phone calls all the time from guys with, uh, you know, warehouses or factories with, uh, you know, Bogan or TOA mixer amps that yep. have been running for years, 25 plus years. You know, that you can't always expect that, but uh, that's going to be a commercial grade product built tough, you buy it once and it lasts for a very long time. Exactly. Um, the other thing to kind of take into consideration there, though, is uh, also to a degree the matter of safety. Yeah. Uh, mixer amps in a commercial environment are going to be built um, to be uh, grounded electrically um, correctly. Uh, they're always going to be grounded for the most part. Uh, they're also going to be built in such a way to help uh, dissipate heat yep. appropriately, knowing that these electronics are going to be on, going to be running. Uh, you know, fan cooled mixer amps, yep. things like that, versus a lot of home products, you know, they're expecting they're just going to be on for a few hours exactly. and shut off. And that's so, big. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it can be a safety concern of if your mixer amp, your, sorry, your home receiver is going to be running hot and is hot to the touch, you don't want that in a commercial environment exactly. uh, day after day while you're carrying on uh, having business. Yeah. Um, there's also a little bit different actual audio signal between uh, home and commercial audio. Uh, if you got a home receiver power in your system, uh, say it's 5.1 or something like that. Right. So you got say, yeah. five speakers off of it. Five, you know, uh, that's really all you can do because of impedance and things like that. Yep. We'll do another uh, uh, spiel all about uh, speaker impedance one that of these we will. days for you guys. Yep. But you pretty much max out at, on a speaker or two per output, yep. depending on the impedance. So if you come to me and say, Nathan, I want to power an additional amplifier, 
Um, many times the outputs are going to be, uh, you know, more of a commercial or a, a consumer grade, consumer, output, yeah. you know, which is going to be a weaker signal than what a commercial grade amplifier wants to see most of the time. Yeah. So you can't really mix and match home and commercial very well nope. uh, because of the actual audio signal itself. Yeah. On the lines of uh, talking about signal, the output from home audio receivers is almost always going to be 8 ohms or 4 ohms or 6 ohms, whatever they call it. Mm -hmm. So everything that you guys learned about 70 volt that we talked about before, why it's kind of beneficial running cabling long distances uh, before getting any wattage loss, making sure you don't have to worry about that dampening factor as much. Uh, all, you know, also making sure that every speaker gets the same level of signal. All that goes out the window when you start dealing with a home audio receiver yeah. because you can potentially be using too small a cable that can't run longer distances. So you get yeah. wattage losses to long runs to speakers in the back of the building. So it might be louder in the front where you have your uh, receiver and quieter in the back. You no know, one you, wants that. Yeah, you yeah. can get into a lot of problems uh, by just using just normal out of the box uh, home type receivers in these kind of situ situations instead of commercially built products built tough, built to last, uh, built with safety and uh, longevity in mind uh, that you can count on to work for you for years and years. Absolutely. We just have some you know, samples here of some of like the different products out there. This is our Pure Resonance Audio, audio Mini Cube. Uh, D make no mistake, I'm not anti-home audio. Right. I have oh, a yeah. home. Yeah. I have right. yeah, we have speakers. Uh, yeah. I like hooking up speakers in my house, yeah. but in, in commercial home. places, that's they don't belong in commercial right. places. That's where you need to look more at commercial grade speakers. Uh, whether you want to do 70 volt or low impedance, that that's still a different conversation. You can do commercial grade low impedance. Low impedance, yeah. Uh, you know, with the right kind of mixer amplifiers, the right kind of electronics. But with 70 volt, you can also trust that you're going to get uh, more efficiency, more. Uh, like my dad used to say, more uh, horsepower to the rear axle. There you you're go. You're going to get yeah. more efficiency. You're going to get more wattage actually making it to the speaker, yep. uh, which is going to be built to last longer, mm -hmm. to work day after day, to where you don't have to walk in one morning and figure out, why do I not have an audio system? Yep. Uh, Commercial-grade audio gear is something you should be able to count on uh, and count on day after day. Absolutely. If you have questions, though, about what kind of audio system you want to do, That's why we're what here. kind of products you need help with, reach out to us. Uh, we've got 70-volt uh, commercial-grade systems for any kind of application on our Amazon store, also on our Pro Acoustics website. Uh, you can go there at www.proacousticsusa.com or reach out to us on our 800 number, 888-256-4112. Uh, reach out to me directly. That's Nathan at ProAcoustics.com. And I'm Colton at ProAcoustics.com. That's Colton with an I. And uh, just let us know uh, what we can do to help out. And uh, if you do like what you, what you see here, if we uh, help teach you guys a few things, let us know. Uh, if I did happen to miss anything here, you're always yeah. welcome to let me know on that. We had some good catches from some other uh, viewers previously yeah. on a few things mm -hmm. that I overlooked. Sorry. And that's great. I, I'm not perfect. Well, that's uh, great. Once again, I'm not an electrician either, so right. don't blast me on some of those kind of uh, right. uh, topics. Uh, but we'd love to share uh, our knowledge with you guys and see love what we can it. do to uh, get you what you need for whatever your audio application is. Uh, click the button. Give us a like. Yep. Subscribe. Tell your friends. And uh, on to the next one. Yeah, until next time, I'm Colton. I'm Nathan. See you next time.